Ahoy! Time to continue. As soon as I load the game. Maybe I should have loaded the game before I started. <laughs> say this about the game it definitely is okay maybe not have the best you know graphics or anything but it definitely has the right heart it feels like a pirate adventure uh. so let's see we have a small inheritance So, we want to go... This way. Onward to adventure! Uh... Yeah, I suppose. Rusty cannon bolt. Okay, I think. Let's see some more treasure. I say uh, I'm gonna go for it. Grab some treasure. Everything should be good. Although we're having some issue because we're not getting much wind. on C. How do I do that? Okay, okay, hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call you, Styles. We're gonna need, I'm gonna need someone who has a little more expertise on this. Come on, pick up that panorite. Ahoy! Uh, 
Um, I see that you're talking, but you're not. I don't hear you. Like, you have the green indicator? I, I don't... Damn it, what is going on? Skype. I don't know if your mic is broken, Styles. I mean, I see, I see the little indicator that says, you know, you're talking, so you got like the green. Yeah, yeah your user volume is up, so it's not. I, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try Skype. Yeah, we hear you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Just. All right. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So what did you? So. Put people into the upper left. Yeah, in the upper left corner, in your uh, crew screen. Oh, we have in like old screen. Rick. Okay. Yeah, you can put you can put old Rick in there. <laughs> we got old Rick. Although some crew you might want to swap over for other ones because they like. Give you minus armor bonuses. Alright. Let's see. So, Rick here, he gives me a plus He's one gonna stay speed, on board. plus one armor, <laughs> and a strength to my sails. Oh, yeah. Definitely well, a well, useful guy. I make, uh, and he always makes the ship faster. Yeah. So, he's an all, he's an all around good guy. Yeah. He may not be the most you're, impressive, you're but he's helpful. So repairs will happen over time, but I should yeah, definitely dock that, over here in Amelia first. Yeah, or just, just find any port in a storm. Yeah. So far, yeah, I've been doing good. Huh? Mm. Sailors have been reporting strange noises and crackling sounds on the ship at uh, night. Ah, of course. Yeah, you get, those, you, you get legends um, as you go by, like you just occasionally pick up a legend or so. Mm. It was really annoying when I was doing my grinding on the um in my own videos. I was just trying to trying to trying to trying to get some get some money so that I can do the next one on a better ship or something like that, and get these strange story events uh -oh. that pop up and they. Seems yeah, the pirate they, baron's you, you, chasing us. Uh oh! Take your ship. <laughs> right. that's, that's what I think. Take your ship. Yeah, we'll deal with I mean, that as, a as we heal. Let's see. So, to, to first of all, let's hire a, a green hand to sort of fill the space. And then for repairs, we how do I get repairs? He's good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, okay, I might have said repairs are cheap, but then again, go. I was saying that because you know, in my in my game, I spent a lot of time and effort getting getting up to the battleship line. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, definitely, uh, maybe not the greatest indie game, but it definitely has the spirit. It definitely gets you into the pirate mood. Yar. Yar, <laughs> indeed. Okay. 
And the ship you're currently sailing is not is not the best one to have. Like the Zebek is, you know, it's just it's just there. <laughs> okay, what? Let's see if there's anything we can buy. Uh, ooh, a Gez machine. Too bad I can't afford it. Um, uh, um. I'd hold off on the Gez machine. It's expensive and it reduces your speed. It. I know, but I'm just saying I'd hold off on it. It's expensive and it slows your ship down. All right, you know, I'm gonna sell my spices that I collected, and we're gonna buy some extra rum. Cause we're pirates. Like my screen share or something, cause I can't really see the um, like my Android is screwing up on the. Oh, all right. Uh, hold yeah. on. Yeah, my Android is not getting the best reception apparently. Uh, you see. Well, it's loading for me as it gets. <laughs> I see that, and now it's loading. Okay, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm gonna sell off these bombs. I don't feel like using bombs at the moment. Yeah, they don't have much range, and it's better to have mu better to give get money out of them. Yeah, I'd rather get you some basic, high quality cannonballs. Hmm. The okay, the screen's just not showing up. The deadly shrapnel we can keep for later. And the rusty cannonballs. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll just sell those off. Well, rusty, rusty cannonballs, I when I when I did my game, I kind of just kind of stuck to stuck to them cuz they're so cheap to use. True, but I'm just going with if we need to, I can go back later and grab more. Well, yeah, I'm just saying though it's like a thousand rusty cannonballs is a thousand bucks. A thousand good cannonballs are like two thousand, so you're paying twice as much True, for a little bit extra damage. But then later on, you realize. But then, but then later on, once you once you're really good, that once you get really good and stuff, you um, you find out that the rusty cannonballs are not that great, and you want range. All right. So what I'm thinking, let's head over to the small inheritance. So let's pull out. Nope, we're cool Ooh, pirates. Small inheritance. We don't that need can to get buggy. You. Although, let's help out with a raid. Oh my god! Yeah, so the, um, the screen, the screen share, by the way, is not working, and it's making you making you sound funny in the microphone. Oh goody. Hey. So I guess I'll try and use the um. I'll just go using my YouTube, I guess. <laughs> Not on the Android. Sorry. But, oh my god, it's a... Lightning Tornado. Lightning Tornado. It sounds like a name for a rock band. Actually, yeah, it does. Alright, <laughs> The Lightning fire! Tornado. Although, they're called Tempests. <laughs> Hmm. Well, nope, we lost the crew. Oh no! I hate losing. Was crew it Jimmy? Men. Whoa! Ben Love and Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy was. A, Jimmy was a great, great guy. Yeah, can you lose the yeah, special so I... crewmates? Um, no, you can't lose your uh, special guys, but you can. You, you can lose your high quality crew like faster than a like faster than a kestrel in a giant alien spider nest. God. Man. Which is why I recommend the risk of death thing over the um. You know the risk of death like reducing the risk of death over healing. I guess that's a good point. Because back back when this game was a beta, I um actually had a lot of issues with the um like even in a casual encounter. A few shrapnel rounds, and I lose, and I lose my elite pirates. Alright. So, I'm one of those, I'm, I'm oh, one of those okay. people who are like, okay, no, I am pulling out, pulling. Not worth grabbing the treasure. Retreat. Oh no! Oh, oh. I got sunk. I Only you had a stone of storms. Well. <laughs> What happens now? I, I'm dead. Well, no, your ship your ship limps back to port, and you get and you get and you um, lose a lot of your cargo and uh. some money. 
And a lot of your crew was wounded and stuff. Yeah. But you survive. Alright. You survive by the oh. Yeah. Yeah, cool, oh, oh look at that. Still get your stuff anyway. Okay. Uh. The thing is, is that sometimes when you go to a port, like if you died out just outside the port borders, because you your battle led you there, you gotta navigate first to the port. Wow, we at least navig okay. na navigate a little bit on the map. And We're then good. you'll suddenly We're go making it. S suddenly the game will teleport you there. We're good. <laughs> oh man. Freaking yeah. tornadoes. Well you get an achievement if you get if you find two of them on the same in the same area. Alright. First of all the repairs. Now we're gonna need just gonna hire some good crew. Hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. right, we are fishing with the sails, we're fishing with the cannons. How's our yeah. storage? Hun 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 120% is a, is a good number to have. Definitely. Although it does mean your boarding crew does is like down to like one or two dudes. But they're the good ones. <laughs> True. Uh, although, again... Although, like in FTL, boarding is a numbers game. Yep. Yeah. Move on. So what you I'm know. thinking is I'm gonna try and be friendly with the um, with the trade coalition and pirates. Well, I'd say be friendly with the trade coalition. The pirates, you're definitely gonna get. You're definitely gonna t your reputation's definitely gonna tank. Eventually. Well, it's definitely going to tank. There are a lot of quests involving sh killing pirates. Ah, okay. So I shouldn't even bother, huh? Oop. Well, there is oh, a solution. Boy. Hold on. Okay. Looks like we got us a rival pirate. Ooh, kill him. Someone else's debt. Oh yeah, that's the um, that's the one. Although, you should buy a spyglass so you can have a look at what the ship they've got. Alright, I'm gonna try ripping up their sails. We're taking yeah, it. That's, 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 a, that's another thing, that trophy ships are pretty, pretty damn good to have. Like, only if the ship is better though. Well, we're gonna find out. Like if the ship if the ship looks like yours, just sink it. <laughs> well, I wanna, I wanna try. I wanna personally kill him, you know? Yeah, I guess. But but, but in some cases, you're just better off sinking ships. Plus, who knows what kind of treasure there is? I need new treasure. Oh yeah, that's true. They might they might have a um. Magical gemstone or something on them. Yeah, that or better cannons or something. I, I don't think you'd find the better cannons in the treasure chest on the when you board them. Well, we're gonna find out. Oh, 24? The accuracy? <laughs> I think you're better off getting in ramming speed. <laughs> Alright, we're going in. Ramming! That's like the best reputation to have. Like, it's, a, it's one of the first ones you'll get is the Mouflon. The Mouflon. The Ram. Alright. Because whenever you get into an engagement with an enemy ship, you're probably going to ram them anyway. Oh, it's Tell time! Me. It's time to raid them. Uh, yeah, you should have, should reduce the boarding crew as well there. Because otherwise... Otherwise, you're... Because you're going to be in for a bad time. Oh, don't worry. Shrapnel! Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at your gun reloading speed, I'm like, man, I wish my ship could do that. I wish my battleship could do that faster. 
six seconds. Whoa! Well, it yeah, makes sense that weaker ships have faster reloads, like a pop gun. Yeah. Well, the battleship has more cannons. It took 20 seconds to reload them all. Yikes. Well, yeah. it's not that bad, considering the fact that you're sailing a battleship. <laughs> Alright, we're going in! But you're sailing a battleship with a uh, special stone that makes it, make it make it so agile that um, it, I don't know, it Ungar. has high agility. Oh, it doesn't look like you have a gun. <laughs> nope, we're doing this the hard way. With your swashbuckling action, yar. Uh, wow. I think I lost. Oh, yeah. I'm getting you know, like I'm watching this stream and it's, I got the, I got the whole delay thing going and yeah, you're I dead. <laughs> I screwed up. Well, wait. I think, wait. Hey, <laughs> God damn. I am a very <laughs> terrible pirate. Even as you, well, no, no, no. You're, you're a good pirate because even as you're sinking, your crew is all drinking. It's all drinking rum. Ugh. As they're all going down the ship, they're all singing and drinking rum. You gotta be Ugh. the best captain ever. Only, only a good cap, only a good captain can do that. I'll deal with you. I'll deal with you later. Only, only a, only the best of, only the best captains can can get the crew inspired enough to drink rum while they're sinking. I suppose. I suppose. It's like that. It's like that scene from the Titanic with the um, with the, with the band. Oy. But yeah, if um, you look if you look at the if you look at the reputations um, thing when you go to your journal or whatever, you'll find it. You'll find a, a picture of a flag with an eagle on it. Those guys are called the Order. Yeah. What what's their and deal? uh. Well, their special ability is for, for take away five reputation from them. They'll give you a huge and five hundred or five hundred gold. They'll give you a huge boost in reputation for another guy for another faction. Hmm. So yeah, j just keep that in mind. The um, if you, once you get lots and lots, of, once you're in the money, the order will be your best bet for um reputations and repairing them. All right. Okay, so, we're yeah. sinking these a holes. I am. Yep. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep, definitely got the uh, Moflon reputation. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that one. That's the best. <laughs> well. It's, you know ramming Screw speed it. is actually I'm pretty good, even on a small I'm ship. This pirate. Where is he? Where is he? Huh, I don't see him. Well, yeah, screw it. I'll just leave him alone. You'll get the, you'll get the, um... Yeah. Well, oh, it, you, you, uh, you currently find the pirate flag. You switch the merchant flag, and you can then engage him in battle. Ah, fair enough. And now we have the. Oh, you hit the auto button. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, you didn't think about, like I don't. I don't like hitting the auto button because you know how auto resolve is in these games. Yep. Doesn't look like it took much damage though. Okay. <laughs> you can start singing that until like, I don't know, 10 episodes in? They forgot. <laughs> forgot my Fire! pirate song. And then of course I forgot about the Lazy Town one. 
Yar har fiddly dee, being a pirate is alright with me. Pirate is alright with me. The pirate is free. You are you a pirate. You are a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Yar har avoiding a vast, being a pirate is really badass. Hang on. Hang the black sail Hang the black at, the flag the at the end of the mast. You are a pirate. Ha! Gotcha! Take that, you bastards! Yeah! How dare you, um, I don't know, be huh. pirates in. I have the timid hair. Oh, really? What's that? I What's that reputation it about? A plus three level? speed and a plus two maneuvering ability. I'll always be remembered as an opponent who tries to avoid battle. Oh, uh. Okay. I, I think you need to have three more battles than, than, than actually engage in them, so to me that sounds. That sounds. not like a good idea. Yeah, it's definitely a cowardly. I'm definitely more coward. Well. Well, yeah, and also you don't get to keep it when, um. You start getting into battle and stuff. Oh, uh, you. This guy again. Oop. Which, which is why... I, I've also lost my long-range reputation. Well, I got some, uh... Pirate cred for... Because of that someone else's debt. Yep. That works. Ooh. So I'm basically just gonna go I'm privateer cool. merchant here. I'm a McCool as um. Yeah, I see him. All right, let's head over to the Marquee Dock. We got some pirates to fight. Let's move in and help them out. Well. Well, help yeah. out our allies. You can't. You can't dock at Fort Sam. And if I'm, it, it, and like, I, I've had issues where I thought, oh, that's a port, I'll go dock there. And there's like, why is this port firing at me? What did I do? Turns out it's a fortress. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, so just keep that in mind as fortresses. <laughs> fortresses are not your friends if you're not flying the right flag. Yeah, we need to get, I need to get to a port soon. I am taking some hits. Eh, yeah, well, well, if you're not boarding your crew, your, mid, your middle health bar doesn't matter. No, I mean, I'm looking at, I'm seeing some, seeing some, yeah. some hits. Okay. If you look at, look at, look at your three health bars, the top one's sails, bottom one's, oh, middle one, I middle one's, see. And the lower one, and the lower one is your hull. If the green one gets down to zero, you sink. If your blue one goes down to zero, you can't move. And, and if the middle one goes down well. to zero... Uh, well then, you're not boarding anytime soon. Alright. Uh, yeah, this isn't a good spot. Okay, that's not important. That's a fortress, so... Okay, I think that's a port. Uh, well, yeah, the fortress you can't dock at the. I think they look like they have huts on them. Is a definitely a place you can land. All right, we have the trade coalition. These guys are these guys are cool. Ooh, what do we got? A weak stone of swiftness. Ooh, wish I could afford that. Um, that increases speed, speed. cannon reload speed. It's not that great. Hmm. We could buy a galleon. Yeah, I could in theory. <laughs> well, yeah, in yeah, theory. But, well, if you have the money for the galleon, you might as well save another t another ten thousand get the battleship too. All right. Uh, what should we, let's see. What do we got in our hold that we could? Well, I could sell some wine over. Uh, Tears of the Mermaid. What's this? Um, uh, it lowers you could have armor, it on your ship. It gives you more maneuverability. It's also useful for a quest. Yeah, well, I can't afford it. Ooh, silk. Yeah. Let's grab some silk for trade. 
Oh yeah, so silk is good for buying um low emblems and stuff for your ship. So just, you know, just as long as the we same don't get old... wet. We don't want we don't want it to get wet <laughs> for obvious <Okay>. reasons. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard that <laughs> reference. Just saying though, you can use silks to um buy new flags, like buy new decorations for your ship. All right. Load. Fight some more pirates. And by decoration, you can have you can fly a Union Jack on your ship, or a um, or a white flag with an awesome face on it. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> I should fly, I should buy that. I think I bought that flag in my game. I should I should fly that. All right, ramming speed. Ooh, drive by cannon shot! <laughs> I call it shotgunning. How come his his gut cannons have a wider range than mine? Uh I think they're using short cannons. Short cannons have a wider range, faster ah, reload, but they they're not very accurate. Whereas yours are a weapon of precision. Elegant weapons for a more civilized age. Okay, we're gonna need. I think he's trying to run away. Well, yeah, it did say enemy flees. Oh, I did. I guess I missed that. Yeah. Damn it! And he's got the s wind. He's got the wind. He's back wherever he goes. I'd say you could try tacking, but um, I don't think that I don't think they, the game has that mechanic. Okay, I can at least move up a little better this way. Try and pick up a little more speed. Yeah, that's true. Um, you have you do have. I think you do have the you actually do have superior speed compared to the other guy, but it's not that much. Yeah, I only get superior speed if I'm going up this way, and even then, I'm at an angle that's getting, and he's getting away. You know what? I'm cutting yeah. my losses. I don't think I'm go, able to go catch on it. an easier target. Yeah. So you know what? You better remember me. Yeah, I doubt it. You'd be like, "Who was that guy?" Yep, oh, we got a pirate raid. It looks like we got some more rumors of the ghost ship on the ship. Oh yeah, those guys with the blue flag. Those guys are assholes when it comes to sea battles. How asshole are we talking? They got poison cannonballs. How the hell you do that? I don't know. You dip them in poison. That the, doesn't even make any the sense. Poison, the, 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 the poison gas shells, essentially. Dick. That is a dick move. Yeah. And, and you're wondering how can they afford them? They're like, they're like six gold a pop. Yikes! And why would you use one? Why would you use them on random pirates if you're not going to board them? Um, yeah, I better be friendly with them. I mean, if oh no, you got the Dominion guys. They got fireball shots. Huh. Dominion guys have got the green flag. Those guys, those guys are love a good fight. I'm just imagining them as like modern day Vikings. No, <laughs> well, I think that's what they are. They got a battle axe as their emblem. Exactly. I just immediately thought Viking. <laughs> well, I was thinking barbarians. Like, ma imagine just the. Oh, yeah, the, from the, like the stereotypical... Empire Total War kind of thing. And they, imagine those in the stereotypical barbarian type guy, like Conan or whatever, on a pirate ship. Conan the pirate, which has probably happened many times. Come on. That's what I think. Of, when I think of the Dominion, that's what I think of. Just the guys, just a bunch, a bunch of barbarians, not Vikings, but just a bunch of barbarians. Oh, uh, we got one fleet. Oh, up, we got him! Yeah. Bunch, bunch of shirtless barbarians with battle axes swinging from the ship and shouting out what the best thing in life is. Yeah, you better run. Oh, 
Mm. Whereas the kingdom, I imagine them as like Spanish conquistadors or something. Or red coats. Okay. But blue. We have what's called the hunt. Oh, uh. <laughs> um. Seems like a bad uh, idea. <laughs> Well, if you can, if um, you have a better ship, um, yeah, it involves a battleship. Huh? I can leave gold with them. Yeah, you know Not what? I'm great. gonna do that. <laughs> Not that great. Hey, you never know when I might need, uh, you know, put some money in the bank. An emergency stash. You might need an emergency stash of cash. Exactly. Alright, now we're gonna sell off a little bit of our rum. And that's more than, that's less than I paid for, so we're gonna just pull out. Although, uh, yeah, we're not gonna be. I'm just gonna just fire on regular. What's Jaw Tongue? Hmm. It's gonna have to go out and start raiding more. That's all I can really do. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You gotta sink a lot of ships to get where you need to go. And the small inheritance quest, by the way, is still good. I guess although, that is what I should probably do. Although now, I'm just, now I'm just thinking about it, I think you would dump it off in the eastern waters, and that's actually no wait. No, I, no, 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 I remember. I was thinking of another quest, which is a, which is also involves transporting jewelry and stuff. You know what? I'm going to head over with Faithful Friends. Go with that. Yeah, get, get, get the story done. At least get some parts of the story, because I might get some new crew. You know, good crew. Good crew with a good, good crew at your back? Nothing can possibly go wrong. Except, you know, poison cannonballs. Yeah. Although, the kingdom's not the only people who use them. I'm playing on the easiest difficulty. This is definitely a harder... Harder than average game. Wait, there are difficulty settings? Huh? Oh. Check the options. Oh, okay, because I, I just stuck it on normal or something. Yeah, I'm playing on the easier one. Because I play games to relax a little more than often than not. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. I, I don't play Civilization on anything but the easiest difficulty. <laughs> Although, I have found in some cases, um, like, Civilization Beyond Earth, that's, e that, like, on the easiest difficulty, that was way too easy, and I moved it up a bit, and it was still easy. Yeah, some games to, can be I like always that. got to the middle difficulty. <laughs> Although my brother told me because the trick was you got to focus on science or something. Science! Exactly. <laughs> Use your scientific skills to <laughs> use your skills in science and to <laughs> to win the game. Yep. Boom. Yeah, take that for damage in the hull to a certain threshold. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find. I'm gonna need. At least now I can afford a lot more repairs. It's true enough. Whatever you do, don't go to those um, palm tree locations. What do you mean? Those palm tree locations do not mean vacation. I was just going there to pull, to dock. Like, no, so palm tree location, as in, when you see those icons on the map, they have palm trees on them. 
they say secret land or whatever. Yeah. Don't go to them. Even I don't go to them. Well, I tried once and it didn't end well. How bad was it? Well, you restricted your you restricted your captain guy on these some of these and some of these encounters. Okay, and if he dies, your ship sinks apparently because your crew is useless. So if, hmm. if you die in these adventures, it's essentially counted as a ship sinking for some reason. That's irritating. Oh yeah. Which is why I recommend you don't do it because I'm not strong. If my if my do if my if my awesome ship and awesome crew can't do it, then <sighs> difficult. Okay. And then learn there's a blocking system. <laughs> Alright, let's get some repairs done. And. Well, I guess you're buying a bunch of rusty cannonballs. Yeah, I think the pilots will give you some for free. Just remember that at a pirate port, the pirates will give you um, up 30% repairs for free and also 200 rusty cannonballs. I guess that's good. Of course, you can't sell those cannonballs immediately. They're categorized as free rusty cannonballs. So, <laughs> there is that. Right. Okay. Guess that's all I can really do now. Alright, what have I got in my fold? No, I can't sell that. Uh, well, I can sell this because I don't want to grab that from. Reading. All right. Maybe buying the silks wasn't the best of plans. Yeah, because I'm having trouble finding someone who I could sell it to. Silver Island, up north, Seekers. Try them. Yeah, usually Silver Island. Um, Mark the traveling like. You see, there's a, there's a green icon that said like traveling scientists. That's probably Silver Island, and they usually um they usually get, they're the overpriced port. Everything there is really expensive, which does mean they'll sell. You can sell things for a lot more. Okay, I'll give that a shot. Although I have found that in the game, you, c you could go to a port marked with a green thing saying you get things at fifteen at a ten percent discount. Look, we'll see what we can do. Then, right. Now, I tried selling it at a 15% increase of a port, and I still didn't make a profit. Like, I bought, I bought cheap jewelry from one place, tried to move to another, and for some reason, the economy did not like me. Hmm. The game did not like me for trying to do economic stuff. So there is that option. All right. Oh yeah, one of the best things you can also do in the game is um get between two ships and fire a broadside on both ends. Yeah. Right, There's an achievement for that as well. If you do it 50 times. But if, okay. if you can pull off that kind of maneuver. Yeah. If you can pull, yeah, if you can pull off that kind of maneuver though, the whole double broadside thing, it just looks awesome. Let's face it, yeah, that is unlikely, but definitely, you know, that would definitely be worth an achievement if you ask me. If you do it fifty times, though. Wow, really? Yep. And trust me, you'll be doing that a lot in later, in later, later on in the game. You'll just be. You'll just, you'll want to run between two enemy ships and destroy them both at the same time. Okay. We're gonna go to the ghostly sea if we wanna... Oh, okay, so, so the seeker port isn't in sail mode. It usually is. Oh. Yeah, it hasn't got, hasn't got the red flag, hasn't got the red percentage icon on it. Shame. 
Alright, well, let's see if we can't unload this. Nope. Yeah, the Seeker's... Like, the Seeker's... I don't know what the Seeker's special ability is. I've never figured it out. Culverins? Culverin shots. I call them culverins. 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 Well... Ooh, that's uh, the compass. The compass is a good one to have for the mo for for a bit. Although culverins probably what you want to get. Well, I can't even afford it. Yeah, but look how cheap they are. And I am gonna grab some medicine. Yeah. I'd rather get some medicine. Good idea. Well, you got some bombs you can sell. Now you've already sold them. Well, all we can do now is just keep moving. Well, one thing about Rusty Cannibals is their one to one ratio of buying and selling. Yeah. Anyway, Which well, means. Keep raiding. Yep. That's all I can really do. Well, oh. well, you can always um, fight the Dominion <laughs> and their cannon and their fire, fiery cannonballs and fiery stuff, and they have a lot of fire apparently. Hey, have you ever heard of the <laughs> of a tabletop miniatures game called Pirates at Ocean's Edge? No. It also started off as Pirates of the Spanish Main. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this cool little mini f cardboard figurine thing where you had different ships and you would battle each other. You would mm. get the ships in like little uh, trading card packs and you could you poke them out and you make 3D little ships and stuff. It's actually nice. a really it was a really good game, but it died when the whole miniatures craze died out. Yeah, uh, of course. Hmm. That's the thing about fads. You know what? I think we can pull this off. I think I think I got enough crew on. I did put some crew on deck. So you know what? We're doing it. Okay. Just, you know, after every after every battle or boarding action, your crew your middle middle bar is immediately healed up to the full. So if you've got several ships to um board in one in one area, if, if you've got several ships to board in one area, then it can get rather interesting. Also, keep in mind that enemy ships can also bombard you while you're while you're fighting. Ah, uh, I went down, but my crew still fights. Still fight on and on and on. Come on, right. you can do it. Okay, so it's like my first mate against the captain and his two flunkies. Ugh, oh. God damn it! I screwed up. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, this is exactly how my this is exactly how my boarding actions went the first few times. Ah, oh, they took some of my silk. <laughs> Those bastards! Fucking a! You need that silk. You need that silk for selling. Fuck. Well, I don't care. Why do they sink the ship afterwards? <laughs> this is really irritating too. Which is why I... <laughs> I think I had some extra medicine. Or, you know, gotta hire a new crew because your risk of death is like... Well, you got, you got the thing that heals your crew. Hmm. You do have that ability which allows you to heal your crew up. I do. But, well... Remember, um, you spent you spent points on yeah, yeah, skill? one chance. Yeah, I wish I didn't. Cause the whole risk well, of death really helps. Would have helped. Well, actually, I think spending another points like I don't know, boarding armor would help. Like, look at your, look at your crew armor. Yeah. 
Imagine, imagine putting both points into that. You have like two crew armor, which is probably still not enough. Yeah, what do we got? We got some of those. Mm. The sea, the, most of the Seekers quests, I think, are in are the north or are in the ghostly seas above or the eastern waters, and those require you know transport. Forget it. I'm selling my silk off. I'm just tapping out with that. Alright, we're... Right, yo, we're gonna deal with this pirate. Ooh, that might be the same one he took me out. Revenge! Revenge! Yar! Revenge! Although... Getting involved in a battle between the pirates and the Dominion. Which means they will love, which means the merchants will love you. Because merchants do that. They yeah. love it when you destroy them. They love it when you destroy their customers. For some reason. Well, yeah, I mean, you're flying their flag, right? Yeah, working with, I'm, I'm be, you know, I figure anything involving trade Usually it's a good idea to be on their good side. Oh yeah, because <laughs> they <laughs> might, not, might not take kindly to your, um, to... <laughs> they well, have friends. But look at the East India Company and parts of the Caribbean. Yeah. Those guys had like a huge fleet. <laughs> no arguments on that one. <laughs> just... <laughs> Who'd have thought the those guys... of the Caribbean would have been so successful? I mean, it's basically just a... Based on a ride, which is, I mean, it's well, kind of awesome how it turned out. I'm, I'm just saying. Look, they made, a, they made a movie about, they made a movie about a board game involving big ship, involving a big ship. What's the less we think about battleship, the better, please. <laughs> Come on, the anchor scene was awesome. Silly but awesome. All right, what do we got here? Okay. Uh... Rikasen Fuse. Oh, uh, uh, that's definitely, uh, that's definitely put that on your list of things to buy. If I could afford it. I know, but just put that, put that on your list. Hmm. Hey. I mean, it, Hey, they gave me fiery, it's simple. these guys gave me fiery cannonballs. Yeah, why not? Good part in training, guys. Not much. Alright. Oh, those guys will help you out, They'll, you get to fight pirates. Alright, if they, if they want to be friendly with me, you know what, eventually I guess I'm willing to... Okay, the Dominion, the Dominion are awesome, they fight sea monsters. Okay, that does sound pretty badass. <laughs> they... They don't care about... They, I, think, I, think, I think later quests, they involve, just involve... Like, the arena quests involve fighting sea monsters inside enclosed spaces. Somehow. Well, they probably drag. They probably capture them themselves and drag them there just to watch you fight them for in their entertainment. Makes about as much sense as anything. I think that's what I like about this well, game. It it, it it definitely follows the spirit of piracy. Both the good, you know, the, the historically accurate to well, the silly. Because let's face it, sea monsters, really. Well, you haven't seen the time loop event then. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> of course I haven't. I just started playing today. I know. And by the way, I do, well, I do appreciate you a lot on the, this on the biodome. For, for Christmas. I just wish I knew about that the Humble Bundle today was going, you know, the latest Humble Bundle <laughs> was going to have this for a buck. Like, wow. Yeah, it, it, I always seem to miss the sales. I did get Punch Club, though. That was another game I wanted to get. I think mean, to me, to me, Punch Club looks like one of those games that's better to watch them play because. Yeah, I was. Go I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play series on that. Not a live stream, saying, but a basic Let's Play. Yeah. To me, to me though, Punch Club doesn't really seem to have the. Complain. But yeah. 
Tempest and piracy. <laughs> Get some friends. But yes, but yes, there is a lot of silliness that you can get. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I'm okay as long as it gives me the feeling of, ah, uh, he's not here. Ugh. God damn it, Jack. Of course Jack. he wouldn't be. Thank Although he's going to stay, going to be in the car waters. Thank you for the he's not cannons. Be on. Thank you for the cannonballs. What you oh, doing? you're not going to find old Jack in the eastern waters. <laughs> or the ghostly seas. Ay, give me a break. What? You think that's the only map? <laughs> no kidding. Nope, there are two extras. Okay. Well, our fighters are doing a little better. I got two really good fighters. Well, yeah, you could always swap out pirates from the um, other other areas and move them into the. Mm. And again, you might want to keep your um, you might want to keep your best crew into the um. Thingy. I'll figure it out. This is definitely one of those games. I'm. It's easy to understand, but to master it, you know, you kind of need to play it to min -max understand. Min-max thing? You got a min-max kind of thing? You kind of got to understand how the game plays, what it expects from you. And also, from experience, what what works better for you? Like, you might you might think having a maneuver, more maneuverable ship is always better than having a um, faster ship. But for me, uh, but then you realize, well, if I can fire on him and do more damage... That doesn't really matter if I'm maneuverable enough. Yeah, true. It's just one of those things that... Do it feels right. Yeah. I always thought, oh, when I get the experience points, I'm going to get myself more powerful artifacts. And then I'm like, later on, I'm like, I need more power. <laughs> if, I'm to do, if I'm to do an epic spin maneuver on this ship, I need, to, I need more power for my wind stone. I need more... I need, I need to use the windstone more often than I need to spin around and miss my target because I spun too fast because it was so powerful. Right. Yeah, I'm still thinking Hello. whether I want to do like a pathfind, you know, run a pathfinder game with you guys based on pirates. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that I don't know if I have the right mindset for a GM. I get overly stressed too easily. I'm not very good at preparing. I'm more of a uh, you know, make things up as I go along kind of guy, but that's I could not try. really a mindset you should have as a GM. I could try being a GM. I haven't been one before. I've not been... I don't think I've been one in a um, tabletop RPG. I don't think I've played them very yeah, much. Yeah, that's the thing. If you want to be a GM for Pathfinder, you kind of need to have played Pathfinder to understand it. Well, you can't let the... Um, you can't let the GM's five-year-old go in and try, and try and do the game. You can't let Deity do it. Probably not a good idea. Well, I mean, I thought Didi did a great job. Look, you really do need to have an understanding of the mechanics. I mean, there's such thing as playing with the theory or the mind, but at least knowing how mechanics work is kind of important. You don't need to play sure. using actual maps and stuff, but... Again, you need to understand mechanics, how things work, what you can and can't do most of the time. So, so what, you can't just, um, when someone does an epic slash on you, you can't just say, Oh, by the way, that attack was lame, so it didn't count. What? <laughs> it wasn't, you know, that attack was lame, so that didn't count. Oh, yeah, with my, uh, South Park life. <laughs> the stream, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Cartman. <laughs> That and uh, oh, that other will... Kyle. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, that attack made you bleed. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I mean, you just have to know that, like, you know, this can do that, this can do this, and yeah. I don't know. I mean, now, if I were running a pirate adventure, 
I wouldn't go too much busy work, like you have to understand how ships work and you have to make a lot of rolls to understand. I would just sort of be like, okay, make a sailing check. And then I'll maybe, depending on how you roll, and I roll a percentage for luck. Like, you know, then it would decide preset encounter. Like, say, a Tempest. Okay, the event of you trying to make sure the ship doesn't fall apart. To, well, the crack oh, you're attacked by this. Or you just pass by a merchant ship. You could either trade with them or attack them. Or just say, because hello, merchant ship. Because give you the option to be whatever kind of pirate you want to be. But there's consequences for both sides. Like, you be you raid everyone, you're gonna lose friends. You're too friendly, you're gonna lose pirate reputation. You kind of got. In the game of pirates, what pirate rep? <sighs> Why am I tearing up? <sighs> Allergies? Might be. Are you sure someone's not cutting onions? <laughs> Just watching the um battles like as soon as you, as soon as your ship slams the enemy ship, they're like, okay, we're out of here. These guys are crazy. They're ramming us. Yeah, you kind of have to be to ram someone. You kind of have to be. Well, yeah, but the, the the idea in the game though, in this game, is that that you do a lot more damage to the enemy ship. Even if they ram you, you still do more damage to them. If even if they hit you on the side of their own prow, you'll still You'll still damage them heavily. Okay, looks like, uh... Going this way. Wait, did the... Oh, no, wait. In that event, you don't board the ship. Sorry, I was thinking of another story event where you had to board... Where you have to do boarding. Isn't that fun? So how do I get more captain skills? Well, you gotta get... You gotta save up 50 experience points. Wait, really? So, I had so, to... Wow. Well, you'll eventually get enough money that you'll start buying, um... Uh-oh. Okay, wait. Yeah, never mind. You'll eventually get, start getting enough money to, um... You can go, you can go to a capital and buy, the and buy the second best sale of, like, 300. Yeah, okay. Or 300 gold, and then... Spend, like, I think, four experience points turning into, into, the, best, uh, into the best crew. Okay. Well, we got Mary Jack. Woohoo! And it looks like we gotta defeat Blackbirder and free, free a guy named Petros. Okay, so... Mary Jack is Rick's brother and he is good about... He knows a lot about sales. Oh yeah. So that's useful. By the way, I like the Although pictures. They, I mean, are, is that actual paintings or actually photos? It's kind of hard for me to tell. I don't know. I don't actually know. I think they are pictures, but they basically, I think they took a picture of someone and just paint, made a painting of it, like a paint replica. Mm. Wouldn't be the, um, wouldn't be the first time games have done that. Makes sense. Although, when adding new crew to your stuff, it's known as the efficiency plus five, it means you got to, you got to reorganize your crew. Wait, I do? Well... If, if the efficiency goes up, it means that you have. It means you need more crew on that area to reach, get 120 percent. Okay. But we're good for now. So what I'm thinking yeah. is, uh, I'm gonna head back over here and I'm gonna get some repairs done because that's what I need. But first, got some more pirates to deal with. You know, I do like the fact that I can go to a pirate's port even though they hate me and they'll still let me shop or do free repairs. Well, until a certain point. Story or when reputa reputation point? When, you're, uh, no, when your reputation sinks to a really low level, you have to bribe the guards to get in and it costs like 500 gold to get oh. in. Oh. So, yeah. You can get your reputation, you get reputation down to like... a good reputation with other people... I'll get benefits. Same, same, same thing. Same thing. If you get if reputation, if your reputation gets too low with those other people, then they will not let you in their ports, and you got to bribe their guards. No, but I talk about really good reputation. Ah, right. Eh, well, you aren't getting discounts or anything, but you get better quests. Ah. 
like for example, max out your reputation with the Seekers and you get the time loop quest. That's a great way to make money. No comment. <laughs> okay, let's head to port. Take out some more pirates. Although, considering how every time you sink a ship, you're getting like a hundred gold, that's pretty good. Pretty good looting. Yeah, we are getting some good looting, but again, most of it's going in. Then I got a lot's going into my repairs. I'm at least alleviating yeah, well, some of my problems by using rusty cannonballs. I'm glad I learned from you free that one. early <laughs> on, use rust. Yeah. And then later on? Then you... Then later on you'll be strong. When I'm able to efficiently survive, yeah. Yeah. Later on you'll be throwing bombs at the enemy. Yeah. And that's got like three thousand. I don't need to worry like... about bombing. There's also an achievement if you keep using poison cannonballs on the enemy. That's still... That's pretty evil. Well... It, it, it'd be the pirate thing to do. Except in one piece. Oh yeah, that guy. Well, and that other guy. Actually, here's what's funny. Luffy has a really big bounty because you know he pissed off the, you know, the government. Well, government. But there's a guy called uh, Eustace Kid who actually always has a bigger bounty than him, and you want to know why? Because he acts like a real pirate. You see, whereas he didn't piss off the government directly, like basically saying, you know, we're against you. Uh, everywhere he goes, he basically just slaughters everyone. Good, evil, doesn't matter. He just just goes to islands, and just slaughters them. That's how come he and then get that and take all the loot. Than Luffy. Well, makes sense. Yeah, he's a real pirate. Okay, let's go shopping. And before before spending money on repairs, get the free repairs on the pirates, then spend money on repairs. Oh yeah, good point, good point. Yay, more free cannons. Yeah, and that that and also the free shells. <laughs> yeah, we we definitely need freebies. Mm, big Buster is like you can you can have Big Buster, it doesn't matter if um doesn't matter if you don't do the quest or not. It still sits there in your in your list. Okay. So Which means if you collect twenty five barrels of wine and ten pouches of tobacco, yeah, you will eventually come across it, or you'll eventually buy it yourself and whatever. And yeah. Then if you lose reputation with the pirates, that quest will still be there because you've already taken it. Okay, so I have some wine already. So we're 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 getting in there. We're going to need to go somewhere. We're going to need... I need to get more improvements. Oh, if, you want, if, you, if you're looking for tobacco, sink merchant ships. Alright. Well, guess we're flying the pirate flag. <laughs> I want to try and keep some reputation up. The problem is, is okay. that who do I want to be friendly with? Being friendly with, be friend with the Gauls here... Seems like a good bet, because fire shots very sounds very nice. We definitely yeah. agree that being friendly with the trade coalition is never not a bad thing. Until you until you're looking for high value loot. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, being on good terms seems like a wise idea. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, but Dominion has a training mission. Let's bait for friends. There's message in a bottle. Then there's a training mission nearby. Uh, what am I looking for? Look for the uh, red arcs on the map. I see him. Red markers probably mean there's a bad guy there or a hostile fortress. 
Well, we got a hostile pirate. Ooh. That's probably your target then. If there's, a, if there's an exclamation speed. mark. If the guy's got an exclamation mark underneath him, it means it's a story, it's a quest. It's part of the quest, quest thing. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Oh, it gets even fun. Like, if you think ramming a ship from the front is, um, you know, making spin around rapidly, imagine doing it at a much higher speed with a windstone. Ooh. Like, I fly, like, I'm using the battleship, and I ram into another battleship at the exact same oh, time. Oh, I, I rammed him and destroyed him! Yeah! I had a battleship travel at top speed right into another battleship, and it, and it did at least 360. Their, their ship did 360. Did a 360 before it stopped. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Ramming speed can get rather hilarious, and just and just Whoa. how it works. Oh, jeez. Holy shit! What's that? Oh. Sea monster. <laughs> Oh, if a sea monster hits you, though, uh, you do take some damage. You might take a lot of damage. The seekers will like you, though, and you might get a tooth. You might get a bit of his tooth. I think I like to get. I rather not take any damage. I'm kind of well, trying to save my money for stuff, you know. True, but you can get. You can sell his tooth for a bit of money as well, like a hundred gold. Yeah. Well, I rather not get. Oh, it, oh, you know? I That'll pay for repairs. <laughs> Whether or just like get that. Oh crap! I, I can't pull out. Oh uh, boy! Ah! There's a storm. Well, the storm's coming. Like me for that. <laughs> All right. How do they even find out? Well, they probably know that they, they, they hunt for knowledge. All right. It's kind of their thing, hunting for knowledge. <sighs> I don't know, maybe... Maybe they have the eyes everywhere and one of them saw your ship get hit by the sea monster and they're like, Wow! That guy probably learned a lot. Well, this, uh, Petro's a good boat swan, so... Welcome aboard, dude. Oh yeah, he... Oh yeah, he adds... Of course he... Yeah, of course he adds stuff to your hull. Mm. Although I found hull armor to be... Well... Alright, well, let's go do some training. Although, in, the, in my current game, I got really good sail and crew armor, but my hull armor is like the is like the weakest. So, guess where everyone aims at? Oh boy. So, I'm guessing avoid the barrels? Yeah, they're not goody barrels. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, this one is, I like the high treasure, like, 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 I like the high treasure in between them. As you're probably seeing there. Oh, is that a frigate? Or a bark? I think it's Ooh, a that frigate. Good. Either way, we're sinking it. Actually, no, it's a bark. Actually, I wouldn't mind trying to capture it, but I don't think I could pull that off. It'd be a real thrill if you can capture it. Yeah, well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set fire to them. Why not? I mean, this seems like a pretty good time to use it. Of course. Yeah, but eventually, though, you will want to get bigger ships because the enemies will upgrade. Obviously. Even the pirates will suddenly start flying Battleship 2s, and you'll be like, where the hell did they get those? Where'd they purchase that? I don't think they would purchase. I think they steal. And why is it better than your trophy battleship? That's the other question. Yeah. Oh man, we are taking a lot of hits. Well, you are fighting a bark of a Zebek. Oh, thank you. I am so glad this guy helped. Oh. 
The Dominion are your friends. Oh, and that was... Isama got sunk. Well, I guess I'll... Ow. <laughs> I don't know how he got sunk. I don't know what happened, but I'm taking um... Oh, I think I know what happened. He's... Okay. Like missiles and FTL... If you destroy the enemy ship, they like if they do a barrage and you sink the enemy ship while they're doing their barrage, the barrage will still hit your ship. Oh god, that's annoying. So it's like so it's like the it's like the last ditch missile before you win your boarding action or now destroy that the enemy ship. Sucks. All right, well, time to get some repairs done. Then again, maybe they weren't doing a barrage, but more, that mortar strikes also take a bit, a bit of time to actually hit the enemy ship. Time for a pirate raid! Raiding party! Uh, are you sure you want to participate in a pirate raid just before you arrive in port? Sure, why not? Well, you might just sink it yourself sunk. Well, when it comes to purchasing ships, you can buy, for I think for 3,000, you can buy a faster but weaker schooner. I think I'm happy with what I got at the moment. I think, I think um, in my game I upgraded to a brig, which would cost like 5,000. And then I bought the frigate. Well, I could just... Oh boy. Uh, I might want to stay away from that. There we go. Yes, escape to the map. That'll get, that'll get, away, from the, that'll get you away from the storm. Somehow. Makes sense to me. Yep. Okay. Using the power of the warp. Doing the shielding, can't afford the. Oh, I got an achievement, Tempest. Yeah, you saw two of them at the same in the same area. Witness two concurrent tornadoes. There you go. Oh, I got more. I actually had a case where I was, well, I was supposed to kill some krakens, and what actually happened was that a tornado flew into the area and killed them all. Wow. Sunk all the enemy ship and killed three krakens at once. And I'm like, okay. Well, you should accomplish. Yeah, that works. Well, it's disappointing for me because I wanted to kill those krakens myself. Hey, I'll take what I can get. There's something I can really do here. I'm gonna need to move to a different port. Mm. Problem is, I don't really want to go. In I mean, look at that two freaking tempests out here. It's just like. Well, you know, I feel as though jump, God is just saying jump to the I map and move leave. away. Well, just jump to the map and move away, and suddenly yeah. you'll somehow you'll well, avoid I them. I feel as though maybe this God saying, "Hey, Brent, I think it's time to end this stream. Why don't you relax at the tavern? You know, what? I think I'm gonna go do that." You always go to a capital city. <laughs> we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it for a stream. All right, sounds like a good idea. I hope you all enjoyed this. Styles, thanks for coming on to give me some advice. No problem. And hopefully next time I won't screw up as much. <laughs> oh, you'll still do the screw-ups. Yeah. Just like I did. <laughs> See you all next time.